All right, sixth grade math. This is 3.1, decimals and place value. If you would open up your book, please, to page 119. Get my pen to work here, 119. On your page, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, sometimes they talk about using man manipulatives to represent decimals, but I like to use money because we uh, deal with money a lot. So you're going to find that um, with the decimals, I'm going to relate them to money. Since our money has decimals in it, we have the dimes and the nickels, or the, excuse me, the dimes and the pennies, which relates to the tenths and the hundredths. So I'm going to do that a lot. I want you um, on this key vocabulary to turn to page 120, and you'll see there's the key concept box right there, up right below the definition of decimals. It says decimals is a number that can be written using the base 10 place value system. Each place value is 10 times the amount to the right. So if we look at a place value system, we have a decimal right here. Let's just put some values going to the left and to the right. This is the ones place. Let me just use numbers. This is the tens place. This is the hundreds place. This is the tenths. This is the hundredths. This is the thousandths. Okay, so let's take a look at what they were saying. It says, each place value is 10 times the place value to the right. So this one, if you take 10 times this, you get 1 100. Then you can show that by 1, 1 over 1,000 times 10. And in fractions, you have to have a top and a bottom, which would be 10 over 1,000. And in fractions, you can simplify them by taking zeros off. And if we multiplied this one by 10, we would get this one. If we multiply 1 tenth times 10, we would get 1. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. That's why this is called a base 10 system. So it's going to take you a little bit to write the key concept. There is a place value chart. I expect you to write out that place value uh, chart along with the word form, the decimal form, and expanded form on there. Okay, so you can stop the video, um, stop the podcast, and write your key concept, which is on the top of page 120, which just gives you the place value. It gives you the places, and we today are going to concentrate on this place right here, which is the tenths place. Notice there's a THS on the end. And whoop, and this place right here, that one, which is called the hundredths. All right, so let's take a look at our first example then. It says write 20 hundredths using only tenths. Well, let's look at 20 hundredths. 20 hundredths means that we have 20 and the last number in 20 ends up in the hundredths place, which is the second one over. Now what I do is I look at that like money. Now if you look at that like money, isn't that 20 cents? So as far as hundredths, it'd mean we'd have 20 pennies. So how about in tenths, which I'm going to relate to dimes, because we know dimes are worth 10 cents. How many dimes would it take for 20 cents? Two dimes, which equals two tenths, which is two dimes, two tens. That's just kind of a crazy way, but that's how I relate it. So let's see how they do it. Two hundredths, two times ten hundredths. Two, and it takes ten hundredths to make a tenth, which that's the way they're, I, I still relate it to money. I think the way I explained it was a little bit easier, but you can decide. Uh, over here, they say think of it takes 10 hundredths to make a tenth, because remember, everything is based on tens. And so when you multiply the 10 hundredths, a 10 hundredths is the same as 1 tenth. I think that's confusing. I think you just need to think pennies and dimes. It's just way easier. So write 1 and 4 tenths using only tenths. Now, relating this to money, 1 over here, to me, is like $1, OK? And 4 tenths is like 4 dimes. So a whole dollar, how many tenths, how many dimes does it take to make a dollar? 
10 dimes. How many dimes in 40? There's already four dimes right here, four tenths, so plus four more, which if you see as money, that would be a dollar 40. That would be 14 dimes, which would equate to 14 tenths. Just makes it easier. And they're going to do it the same way. Okay, one is 10 tenths. It takes 10 dimes to make a dollar. Think of it that way. I think that's easier. All right, let's do the guided practice. Here we go. The guided practice is at the bottom of page 119. So we have 500 hundredths. So think of that like 500 pennies. If you had 500 pennies, it takes 100 pennies to make a dollar, right? So you would have five dollars in pennies. Right here. Five dollars. Every dollar has ten dimes. And you have five of them. So that would be fifty dimes. Uh, another way would be every tenth has ten one hundredth. So divide that by ten and you could get 50, which is probably the way they did it. Four ones and nine tenths. So again, the four ones is like four dollars. Every dollar has 10 dimes in it, so that would be 40, plus the nine you have, so 49. I just think money, if you relate it to money, it just makes it so much easier. All right, example number two says, let me flip the page, it's on page about the center, halfway down on page 120. A person timing your swim meet says your time was 28 and 6 tenths seconds. Write your time as a decimal. So this is a key right here. We, a lot of times we have a bad habit of saying and in just our regular numbers that don't have decimal places. And we kind of get away from that because and means your decimal. So 28, you just write 28 just like a regular old number. And then you... Um, sorry, my phone is ringing, and I'm not going to answer it, so just ignore it. Um, 28 and 6 tenths, so there's 28, and then 6 tenths, the tenth place is this first one right here. Okay, phone, stop ringing. So 28.6, 6 tenths would be 6 dimes, it would go right there. Let's see how they did it, 28 and 6 tenths. The end indicates the decimal point, which is what we just talked about. So there's the 28, and then the 6 is in the tenths place. So example 3, reading decimals. Buddy Rice won the 2004 Indianapolis 500. His best leading lap, 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 I can't say that, lap time was 41, and, and now a lot of people would say it, 0 0.6913 seconds. The correct way to say it is 41 and... 6,913 ten thousandths. So write his time in words. So guess what? You have to write that all out. So you have to go, you, you take this first number on the left part of the decimal and you just write it, 41. 40-1. When you get to the decimal, you say and. And then this on the right side of the decimal, just say it like it's a, just write it like it's a number, 6,000. Try to spell your words right. 6,913. You don't put an and. It's not 6,913. We have a bad habit of saying that. And then the place, you have to say, what is the place value of that last digit? And that's where your key concept box comes in handy. If you forgot, there's four places over. If you look up there, you can count from the decimal. One, two, three, four, over. That's in the ten thousandths place. I didn't spell that right, so a second. T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D-T-H-S. Supposed to be a T. So let me read it. 41 and 6,913 ten thousandths. It says, again, you read the decimal according to the last place value, which, again, is in the ten thousandths place. Okay, so let's write some. Write 25 and 700 thousandths as a decimal. Well, it's pretty easy. I get the 25 is easy. 25 and means you put the decimal. Now, here's seven 
hundred, not seven hundred, it's seven hundred thousands. So every, look on your chart and see where the hundred thousands place is. So count over with me. I'm looking at my chart. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So that's one, two, three, four, five places over. So what I like to do is make five spots. One, two, three, four, five. I know the seven has to be in the hundred thousands place. So the seven's going to go right there. So these then are all going to be zeros. That is 25 and 7 hundred thousandths. And the hundred thousandths is the place value. And we know that because of that dash right there. So you have to be really careful on those. And then we got it right. Okay, write this in words. So we say 5. 5 and, which gets, that's the 5, the decimal is the and. This number is 29. And then it's in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths place. So if you haven't noticed, you kind of need to know the place value chart. You need to know the decimal place values. 5 and 29 thousandths. There it is. Okay, so this one is 5 and 68 thousandths. Five and 68. Notice there's a dash between 60 and 8. So this one is 76. You always put a dash between 76 and 25 tenths hundredths. There's supposed to be a T right there. S. 25 hundredths. 6, 7, 76 and 25 hundredths. That's not 7, 6. It's supposed to be 76. They have a mistake right there. All right, so um, be careful when you're doing your place value. You know the place value chart. Looks like you're going to be writing out a lot of them in words or taking them from words and writing out the numbers. So good luck, and we'll see you next time.